Solomons a pause on some deportations. But it's not just what's said in the lawsuit, but how it's said that's upsetting some local lawmakers. As they say, the wording is directed at those in border communities like here in El Paso. This lawsuit is in right in line with prior fear mongering about the border, about immigrants. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton trying to block the temporary deportation pause of some undocumented immigrants. Filing a lawsuit against the Biden administration, Paxton tweeting, quote, As AG, I will always put Americans first, not dangerous aliens who must be deported. That is completely off base with what this executive order does. In fact, the executive order addresses individuals who may be a threat to our country. The new rules are temporary, focusing on deporting migrants who may be a threat to national security, were previously incarcerated or apprehended without proper documentation. Let's remind ourselves that he also filed lawsuits in the past against dreamers and DACA recipients against refugees and asylum seekers. So I think it's, it's just a pattern. Local lawmakers and immigration advocates saying the rhetoric behind Paxton's lawsuit poses a danger to border communities. We've seen uh, the kind of uh, uh, hate that that brings to communities, uh, such as the individual who drove out here to El Paso to commit mass murder at Walmart. In a press statement, Paxton said in part, quote, our state defends the largest section of the southern border in the nation. Failure to properly enforce the law will directly and immediately endanger our citizens and law enforcement personnel. Uh, I think his credibility has, has is, is not in a good place right now. Um, and uh, my hope is that this uh, lawsuit uh, doesn't go any further. Officials told our media partners at Border Report because of COVID-19 border travel restrictions, the Southwest border region is largely exempt from any pause on deportations. Reporting near the U.S.-Mexico border, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News.